some scary moments at sea for cruise ship passengers. A fire on board sent smoke billowing from this Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas. The ship is based in Cape Canaveral. It was just about to dock in Jamaica when it happened. Local 6 Eric Sandoval joins us live at Port Canaveral this evening. So, Eric, what happened on board? Well, we're going to get to that in just a second, uh, Matt, but, you know, right behind me is the Carnival Pride. This is a very busy port here. The Pride stopped here earlier today, and I managed to talk with some of the passengers on board. They tell me it's really scary that an incident like this happened with a ship that just left here a few days ago. The sight of freedom of the seas arriving with black smoke billowing from it sent chills down the spine of this dock worker in Falmouth, Jamaica. Ships on fire, that's freedom of the sea. Royal Caribbean tells Local 6 a mechanical fire caused all that smoke. These pictures posted on Twitter from one of the passengers shows the fire forced passengers to get on their life jackets and report to their muster stations on board. None of the passengers was injured, but a cruise line worker was burned. Holy cow. This family was docked today where Freedom of the Seas departed from on Sunday, Port Canaveral. Their mother says it's concerning. Especially with all the kids. We have seven kids with us. That's a lot to keep track of. Yes, it is. Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines told Local 6 the ship's fire suppression system was immediately activated, which contained and extinguished the fire. In an abundance of caution, the captain mustered all the guests at their assembly stations. Wow, that's crazy. This family sailing from Baltimore says they're praying for the people on board. I think you're worried a little bit, I yeah. guess, um, but we haven't had any problems, so I'm hoping it stays that way. <laughs> I found out Freedom of the Seas actually just returned to the waters here at Port Canaveral in January. Uh, apparently, Royal Caribbean added more cabins on board, and I talked to the company. They tell me about 4,500 passengers were on board when this fire broke out, Matt. Again, fortunately, none of them was injured. Matt? So for the 4,500 people, Eric, is that the end of the cruise for them? Are they going to bring a new boat to take them somewhere? What happens? Uh, well, you know, looking at that video, you'd think that that's exactly what would happen, but no. Royal Caribbean tells me that the ship is just fine. They're going to continue to their next port of call, and that's the Grand Caymans tomorrow morning. Matt? Eric Sandoval, live at the port. Thank you.